2 to the power of a plus 2 to the power of b plus 2 to the power of c equals 148. Our goal is to find the values of a, b, and c, where each of them is a natural number, and a is greater than b, and both are greater than c. So, can you solve it? It is so mind-blowing to note that even though we have only one equation but three variables, which is an impossible equation to solve, still we will be able to solve it algebraically. We know that the number 148 is even. Also, we know that any power of 2, except 2 to the power of 0, is always even. Now let us multiply and divide both sides of this equation with 2 raised to the power of c. So we can take this 2 to the c here and divide it with each term individually. So we get 2 to the c times 2 to the a divided by 2 to the c plus 2 to the b divided by 2 to the c plus 2 to the power of c divided by 2 to the power of c. Now we have a power rule that says x to the m divided by x to the n equals x to the m minus n, which means we can take this to the numerator but just put a minus sign here. So we get this as 2 to the c times this will become 2 to the a minus c plus 2 to the b minus c plus this will simply be 1. Noise. Now get ready for some magic. This right-hand side is even. This is also even. Now if you look here, both of them are even, but this is odd, so this overall thing is odd. Hence we will rewrite 148 as a product of an even and an odd number. Let us factor it out. 148 over 2 is 74, but both of them are still even. Let us divide it by 2 one more time. We get 74 over 2 equals 37, which is what we want. So we can rewrite 148 as 4 times 37. Now this is even, and this is odd. So definitely 2 to the c equals 4, and this whole thing will be equal to 37. Now rewrite 4 as 2 squared and compare both sides to get c equals 2. Su wheat. Now look at this equation. We can take this one on the right-hand side to get 2 to the a minus c plus 2 to the b minus c equals 37 minus 1 or 36. Also using this power rule again, we can rewrite this as 2 to the a over 2 to the c plus 2 to the b over 2 to the c. Make the denominator as common to get this, but we already know that 2 to the c is equal to 2 squared as c equals 2, and therefore this will be 4. Take it here to get 2 to the a plus 2 to the b equals 36 times 4, or 144. Now let us repeat the same step. Multiply and divide both sides of this equation with 2 raised to the power of b. So we can take this 2 to the b here and divide it with each term individually to get this. This will become 2 to the b times 2 to the a minus b plus 1 equals 144. Again, the right-hand side is an even number, and this is also even whereas this thing is an odd number. So, what do we do? Make 144 as a product of an even number times an odd number. I will save you some steps, and we can write 144 as 16 times 9. So, 2 to the b will be 16, which can be written as 2 to the 4, and thus b equals 4. Then 2 to the a minus b plus 1 equals 9. Take 1 this side to get 2 to the a minus b equals 9 minus 1 or 8. We are almost there. Write 8 as 2 cube, and therefore when we compare both of them, we get a minus b equals 3, so we get a equals 3 plus 4 or 7, and that's it. These are the values of a, b, and c. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to support our channel by becoming a member. Also, please like and share this video if you want more awesome content like this. So good.